want to make a confession. I confess that I've been deceived by BN Penang Chairman Ting Chang Yap in his political games of challenging me to a contest between both of us in Barat Kota. Clearly, Ting's statement yesterday showed that he had no intention of honouring his challenge to me. This is despite the fact that I have accepted his ridiculous condition that I contest only a state seat and give up contesting a parliamentary seat as is required of me as DAP Secretary General leading my party nationally. There were three reasons why I was drawn into Teng's political deception. One, he had issued the challenge to me first. If he now denies it, why did he set the ridiculous condition that I contest only a state seat, which I had immediately accepted? For Teng to claim that he had not issued the challenge first shows he lacks even the courage to admit that. Two, Teng had declared previously that you must speak up from where you fall, which can only mean that he would recontest Father Kota. For him to say that he meant picking himself up in Penang and not Father Kota is dishonest, as he has well said that he wants to pick himself up from planet Earth. Huh? You understand? Is it? Oh, I'm not going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah, it's ridiculous, you know. Everybody knows that you meant Padangkota. Now you try to twist and turn and don't even want to admit that. What does that mean? It's just ridiculous. Third, he had announced that he would be a different leader for his predecessor, Tan Sri Dr. Ko Su Kut, and was willing to stand up to Amno. By running away from his own seat of Padangkota that he had held for three terms from 1995 to 2008, shows that he is only willing not to stand up to Amno, but to stand behind Amno. No matter how clever Ting is in playing his games of political deception, he cannot run away from the fact that he sees himself as Amno's representative and not the people's representative, which is contrary to the principle that the Penang chief minister must lead the people from the front and not from behind Amno. By leaving my seat of Ibute, and picking Teng's old seat of Parangkota, I am giving him a favourable advantage. Parangkota was won by DAP with the lowest majority of 1,661 votes, amongst all the 19 seats won by DAP in Penang in 2008. And yet, despite DAP winning this seat by the smallest majority, he dare not recontest his old seat back. I hope that this contest between us would offer the people clear choices whether to revert back to AMNO and be a choice of a government led by cronies or choose a people-centric government for the people, by the people and of the people. This is about two governing policies between one that condones corruption and another that believes that a clean government based on CAT can outperform a corrupt one. I was wrong. It's where I confess lah. I was wrong in thinking that Teng would be a different leader from Ko Su Kun. In fact, he is worse than Ko Su Kun because at least Ko Su Kun dare to recontest his state seat. As such, I would no longer entertain, entertain Teng's political games. Even though I've been tricked by Teng's political deception, at least there is a silver lining in that Teng's refusal to recontest his old seat has exposed him as a leader who leads not from the front, but from behind Amno. Instead, I will now focus on my message on what type of future of Penang do we want our young to live. PR believes in a Penang that is cleaner, greener, safer and healthier. Let the people decide whether PR has the policies and principles as well as possess the courage and the idealism to prepare the future for our young and the young for our future. If he says, like what I said just now, first, if he says he didn't issue a challenge, then why did he set conditions? So I think we are enough of his political games. I, I'm not interested in uh, responding to his personal attacks. He has made personal attacks. I say that I'm not like my father. Of course, I'm not like my father. But my father is Lin Ti Siang, you know. Lin Ti Siang is a living legend. Of course, I cannot compare with my father. I don't feel any shame in saying that. I do not want to go into personal attacks. Because if I want to go into personal attacks, I can say, 
Ah, uh, yes, I mean I'm not my father. I'm not my father. You're not even like your brother, man. But I don't want to say that, lah. How you're not like your brother? I don't want to say that. Okay. You go back to your I-10 and your parliament seat, back to school. Yeah. Unless he says that he will contest, but he will go to that. Or else don't want to waste time. Uh, tired. Twisted, twisted. Uh, challenge, I'm going to say never challenge. And at least, you know, now uh, we must give credit to Kosukun. No, you must. Come on, uh, be, be fair. Uh. We always thought that at least thing will be braver and stronger than Kosukun. Kosukun at least then to go back to Tanjung Bunga and contest. He then not go back to Padang Kota and contest. So we think he thought he's better than Kosukun. Now, beyond reasonable doubt, he is worse than Kosukun. Political this political game. This has a game. This thing has a game. This don't treat politics like a circus. You know, I see him every time twist and turn. He's like a circus performer. And I don't want to play that type of games with him. Don't treat politics like a circus. Don't be a circus performer. You want to do it, you do it. I'm not interested in playing this type of games with you. This is a nauji. I can't even think about it. I just want to ask, are you disappointed that the, the match is over? <laughs> 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 it's not match. It's, it's not even begun, no. I, I, I admit, I confess that I was... Uh, I was tricked by him. I was tricked by him. How do you how how do you uh, uh you know measure that? How do you reflect that? Oh, I was tricked by him because I was I thought that he would be uh, committed to contesting his OCPEC. You know, like I also get ready. Ah, he also get ready. 